Let's go find living these organisms. Are, are these supposed to be? Are those living? Okay, let's go guys. It, it was a little confusing. It was a little intimidating, I'm not gonna lie. You know, I can do a, I can do a PowerPoint and business presentation, marketing, e-business. Those are not the, quite the same as saying, you know, we would like for you to bring 120 so fourth and fifth graders to campus. I'll admit that that age group's a little intimidating. The whole day is is um, focused on math and science. So can y'all look at the building over there and see shapes that are um, or lines I guess that are perpendicular and parallel? These are pre-service teachers. They um, will be involved in teaching math and science. They're EC through four, which means they're generalists, so they'll be teaching every subject. They are trying to find three shapes that are parallel to each other and three shapes that are perpendicular to one another. And then we'll write them down on your worksheet. The students will be going from uh, 10 stations. They'll go from station to station, and they will a answer math and science questions. Explain why they are considered living or resistant. Draw pictures of these organisms. <laughs> organisms. <laughs> organisms. <laughs> we have them testing soil at one um, site. The ants look huge. Now go all the way over there. We have them um, measuring circumference. We have them measuring area. We have them measuring um, many other things using stopwatches and timers. Uh, they'll be collecting data. <laughs> Don't lose count. 65. Times 260 equals 26. The students have a chance to come to TCU, um, experience a place of higher education, experience what it's like to be in college. Hopefully they will see the excitement and they can have a, a goal maybe to, to come to college, to major in math, science, engineering. That's the goal of this, this event today. Yes, that's fine. Why don't we do that? Do you know how to do that? Smart kids. I think we should measure the strength first. How long is our... What? Inches. Inches. Very good. So are y'all specialized like in content areas? I teach math and science. Really? As a teacher at the college level, I get my students who are, are sometimes afraid of math and they don't see the, the reason for, for taking the course and I try to make it so that they get excited about math and in turn will be excited when they go out to teach. Oh yeah, it's wonderful. Just to I don't know, hear about her experience and know that she's been doing it for so long and still excited about it. It's fun. So it's really goofy. It's yeah. motivational yeah. <laughs> to know that somebody actually does it for so long. It's and it's still rewarding? Yes, especially when you have those kids that they love learning, they're like sponges and they just soak it up. It's very rewarding. That is a short piece of string. How are we gonna get all the way around this <laughs> cylinder with just that piece of string? We can measure it when, with the ruler. They're being introduced to the Fort Worth ISD uh, students. Many of them will be seeking jobs in Fort Worth ISD. Um, the students get to, to see the college. They get to experience uh, some of what college is like and, and meet college students. Hopefully it'll impact a large number of students. If it just impacts one, I think it's still a successful event. Um, in fourth and fifth grade, I always thought science was really cool and I just didn't completely understand the impacts that science had on society. And so I think that this event can bring that to the students at, at a tangible level. This is a way to, to get them excited about teaching math and science and it's also a way to get the children um, excited about doing math and science because they see, found, they see an application for it and so it is a win-win situation for everyone. Okay, so compare and contrast with features of those.